Hello, welcome to Sign and Fairy Book Reviews. As usual, I am Tina. Today I'm doing a book review of Widow Fantasies by Hale Gadari. This is a collection of short stories, a contemporary fiction from Gordon Hill Press. It came out September 1st, 2024. So I received this book from River Street Writing in exchange for a fair review. I'm sorry I missed the deadline on this one. <laughs> it came in a little later than I expected and uh, yeah, anyway. A thoughtful, quick-paced, and provocative collection of short stories, Widow Fantasy is something you should check out if you enjoy contemporary fiction. Also, the cover is so cool. It's so pretty. <laughs> What's it about? Fantasies are places we briefly visit. We can't live there. The stories in Widow Fantasies deftly explore the subjugation of women through the often subversive act of fantasizing. From a variety of perspectives through a symphony of voices, Widow Fantasies immerses the reader in the domestic rural gothic, offering up unforgettable stories from the shadowed lives of girls and women. It's, it's cool. <laughs> so look what happened in my book. <laughs> See how wrinkly it is? This is not what arrived. It's very ruined. Um, so my husband saw the title Widow Fantasies and he threw it in the lake. I guess he was angry. I rescued it and I threw him in and now I am a widow. I'm kidding, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> what actually happened was I brought the book along on a picnic because my family does that kind of thing. And it was under a blanket in the, in like the, um, the wagon and then a water bottle tipped over and it soaked it through the blanket. <laughs> I managed to rescue it a little bit. It's very like crinkly though and I'm like oh it's so sad it's like bled through and oh uh, anyway yeah so I'm very sad because it's a lovely collection of short stories that I'm very sad got all mangled <laughs> this won't be a super long review as I find it hard to talk about short stories in like a review because I don't want to go through like all of them one by one but overall you know all of these stories feature women in different situations most of them dealing with their relationships with men some are happy stories, some are melancholy, some are provocative. Most feature women main characters, but a few have male main characters, though they are there as a way to make a point about the societal treatment of women. So yeah, this is a book about, about women. <laughs> the interesting thing about the stories is that they all are really, really short. Some would even be classified, I think, as flash, fi flash fiction. <laughs> this is actually how I prefer short stories to be, so I love this. <laughs> I'm not very partial to short stories that are like 20 pages long, that are almost novellas. I like a quick little read that makes me ponder for a minute and then I move on. They all follow a similar style, a sort of blend of the present and past in an almost stream of consciousness way, which is meant to give you enough backstory for that particular story situation or theme to resonate with you. This does mean that the stories aren't always easy to follow as verbose is not a word I would use to describe the writing. <laughs> But this is not a bad thing. This is actually a good thing. It means you need to read them closely to really appreciate them. And I think that's something that I don't take enough time to do, especially when I'm reading like sci-fi and stuff like that. I don't tend to read very closely. So it is nice to get kind of be forced to do that because I do miss doing that because I did that a lot kind of back in my school days. <laughs> For example, like there's one story, Koshchel, I'm not sure I'm saying that right at all. I had to read that twice because I didn't pick up on what had happened the first time around. But when it clicked, I was like, oh, oh, okay. But I think the second read actually brought out a lot of the themes of that story as well for me. So I think you can actually pretty much go through this book and read the stories twice back to back. And I actually did this with other stories as well, where I would read the whole thing and be like, did I miss something? Did I interpret this properly? And I go reread it and because I kind of knew the ending, I was able to kind of parse what was happening from the start. And I don't think this is a flaw of the novel. I think this is actually a good thing about it. It's, it's very, it's very contemplative. <laughs> There's also some other ones that are more straightforward, but then they have this kind of twist or like a line at the end that really drives the point home in an unexpected way. For example, the story Tennis Whites is a great example of that. I can't really say why because it would ruin the story for you, but that one was like a good example. Others, like the titular story Widow Fantasies, bring up very relatable scenarios, I think, in everyday life that a lot of people, men and women, have experienced. I will give you a bit of a spoiler on that one. So basically, a woman is thinking about um, what it would be like to kind of not be in the life that she's in, and then something happens to her husband. And it's kind of like we all kind of have that fear that, oh, or like a guilt that we're like, oh, you know, we, we want something different. And then we're like, but what if something happens to our partner and we're thinking that and, you know, that kind of thing. I think we have all kind of thought that kind of that kind of way that doesn't really make sense. It's illogical, but I think our brains do that sometimes. And I think that's this 
story kind of touches on that and I think it's really it's really interesting because it does make you kind of think. I think this is a book that is intended kind of for older readers as well. Um, I mean men can read it too obviously uh, if you want to but I think for women it would resonate a lot more and also I think if you're a bit older like um, I hate being called older but you know like I'm in my late 30s so uh, it really kind of meshed with me because a lot of the women in the stories are kind of in that kind of time of life. Normally in short story collections there are two or three stories that I loved, the rest I enjoyed, and a few that I didn't like, but I can't say I disliked or thought any of these were not as good as any of the others. <laughs> they're all very lyrically written and they're so elegantly crafted. I believe the author is also a poet, so that makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of kind of poetic, kind of elegiac aspects to these stories that give it that that help it impart the kind of ideas and descriptions that it's making. I think the fact that she is a poet really helps her narrow down kind of those aspects in a way that uh, is very hard hitting. So yeah, as if you couldn't tell, I really enjoyed these. I will definitely read them again someday, maybe even soon because they're so easy to kind of pick up. Like, yeah, there's some stories that are like, like a page long. <laughs> Thank you again to the publisher for my soggy copy. I am sorry to show you that it got destroyed, but it's not destroyed. It's still totally readable. Um, it's just kind of crinkly. That's okay. It gives it some, it gives it some, some, something unique about it. <laughs> anyway, thank you.